Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the touchpad from HP. It's their brand new tablet. This episode, we're going to talk about web browsing and actually using the touch to share feature. One of the apps in the dock at the bottom by default should be a little icon that looks like the world. Tap on it, and it'll open up the browser. Now, the web browser on the touchpad is a full-featured browser, and it actually does handle Flash as well, unlike some of the other browsers out there. At the top, of course, you'll have an address bar. You can tap in it and then start entering your address that you want to go to. Once the site loads up, you can actually interact with the browser much the same way you can on a lot of other tablets. You can use pinch zoom to zoom in and out of the page. You can slide around using your finger, and then you can tap on it in order to open up a link. From inside the browser, you have a few other options in the upper right-hand corner. When you're on a page you like, you can tap on the share button at the top to add a page to your bookmarks, add it to your launcher, or you can share that link via email. You can also tap on the new page icon beside that to open up a fresh browser window. The last button opens up your bookmarks, so if you've already bookmarked some pages, you can tap on this to see them. Now, if you have one of the new WebOS-based phones from HP, you also have another way to share content from one to the other. It's called Touch to Share. When you're using your browser and you're on a site you like, you can actually share that URL directly with your phone. Now, you will need to make sure that your WebOS-based phone is actually linked to the touchpad using Bluetooth. There's another episode where we show you how to set that up. Once that's set up, you can actually use this Touch to Share feature. When you're on the page that you want to share with the phone, just take the phone and lay the back of the phone near your home button on the touchpad. You'll see a wave appear on the screen. And a short time later, if the browser isn't already launched on the phone, it will launch and then automatically bring up the URL that you have on the browser on the touchpad. So the practical application for this, if you want to go somewhere using a map address that you found on your touchpad, but you don't want to necessarily take the touchpad with you, you'll actually touch to share, push that over to your phone, and then just take the phone with you instead. Let's look at the web browser and the touch to share on the touchpad. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where you can see other ways you can interact with the touchpad. You can see the other parts of this series and the show notes for them at butterscotch.com.